Uh, so uh, in this particular study, uh, what we did was we looked at about 230 lakes around the world. Um, and it was a combination of using ground measurements from boats and people going out there and measuring the temperature of lakes together with um, satellite uh, measurements where we take the temperature of the lakes from space. And so what we wanted to do was see how lakes were changing um, over the entire globe and look at what variations there were in the uh, warming rates uh, across the globe, but also uh, how much variation there was between lakes that were uh, close together. So one of the things that uh, we noticed, which was quite interesting, was that these lakes are actually, in some cases, warming faster than the air temperatures. Because the air temperatures, you know, change in an instant. Whereas the uh, water temperatures, they reflect what is going on in the entire environment around them. So it could be a reflection of there being less cloud cover. It could be, um, uh, you know, a consequence of uh, more glacial meltwater coming into the lake all these different processes taking place and they integrate them and they warm more gradually but the consequences of that warming can be very, can be can be very serious so So, for example, um, if we looked at these warming rates and projected what would happen in the next century, then what we would see is that um, algal blooms would go up by about 20%. This is the green algae that you see in the lakes, oftentimes in the summer. Um, and some of that green algae that, that is uh, added, some of it in, uh, contains um, harmful, harmful toxins. Um, and so what it can do is uh, mean puts restrictions on people going out on the water or using the water for drinking purposes and things like that. So there are real consequences to the actual um, lake ecosystem. So what we can do is, even though it may take a long time before we do something about the temperature, what we can do is we can make sure that we uh, do have as little pollution as, as possible going into the lakes so that that pollution that gets in there doesn't get an extra boost from the fact that the lakes are warming up. So we can actually do things about it. And in fact, if you look at, say, the lakes around here, if you look at, for example, Lake Tahoe, a lot has already been done about that. I mean, what they're doing there is... That